The Zero Point is back. The Fortnite storyline is kicking into overdrive with two live events, Fortnite Nightmare Season OG and the death of Jones. Today we're covering everything, starting with the return of the Zero Point. The Zero Point has been speculated for the whole chapter. Is it here? Did they abandon it? Did it get destroyed in the Big Bang? Well, it turns out that it is still here. And as always, it seems to be hidden underneath the lake in the middle of the island. We have a few things that suggest this. One being this board that was found in Doom's location, which circles this part of the lake. And two, the leaks also mention the zero point. This lake has been drying up over the chapter, but why? Some comments that I've seen think that it's Galactus drinking the water because it's gonna be Galactus versus Doom for the event. Oh, brother! It most likely has something to do with the zero point. But Pandora's box has been the focus, so does the zero point really matter? Well, yes, but we'll get back to that later. For now, we're just going to cover the truth behind Doom's second arrival because some huge news just came out at first it was obvious that doom was here for pandora's box but the truth is he was here for much more than that many have began theorizing that he is here to summon mephisto so he can get his mother back by the way we are covering all of this information so that way we can piece everything together at the end of this video for the greatest live event theory so just stay tuned until then so basically Doom came to the island, collected Pandora's box's power, and then left to prepare. But when he comes back, he plans to summon Mephisto to get his mother back. And then he will shift his focus to the zero point. In his absence, this left room for Hope's plan. Hope's plan is ambitious. She wants to get revenge on Doom for stealing her power. The Oracle reveals that Hope was supposed to receive the power of the box, but Doom stole it. So Hope is angry. Not only that, but Hope also wants to save the island from Doom. Last time we had a Marvel season, Iron Man clutched up by doing all the smart hard work. He just used the Rift to send Galactus away. And this is the plan again. We have collected Rift beacons and placed them around the island. They are all around the countdown in the middle, pointing right towards Doom's tower. These are revealed to be using the Zero Point's power. And when the time comes for Doom to come back, we will use these to rift him away. But sadly, this won't exactly work in the end. I'll explain that later though. Also, if you're wondering why this will work, apparently the challenges revealed that now with Pandora's box's power, Doom has the ability to be a giant. So pretty much these beacons can just aim anywhere in that direction and it'll pretty much hit him. We've been using this whole time that Doom was gone to basically prepare. We eliminated Mysterio, who by the way had a mind control over the whole island, making everybody think that Doom was the good guy. As well as... Wait, what's her name? I don't remember her name, I won't even lie. But we got rid of her. But there's one more detail about Hope that is extremely important. There is a new style for her skin, and it is called, get this, Pandora's Chosen. This is very similar to Doom's Chosen, and also, she's all yellow just like Doom was when he used Pandora's box's power. This all ties back into the Oracle's prophecy. The Oracle revealed in the beginning of this season a few hints to what will happen. She said the skies will darken, which happened. She said there will be a hidden victory in defeat, which hasn't really happened yet. And she also said some other stuff that's a little less important. But the important one is the victory hidden in defeat. This is almost enough information to piece together what might happen during the live event. But there are still some leaks that we need to cover that will tie it all together. This event is twice as big as the last one, even including a cinematic. Some people believe that the cinematic is for Fort Nightmares, but I think it will be for something else. By the end of the event, Doom will have a bunch of damage to his armor. We can assume that this is done by Hope and Jones, but there's a chance that it happens some other way. A huge secret that surprised everyone was that there are two live events. There's one this weekend and then another at the end of the season. We also know that there are three heroes that will appear during this event, leading us to believe that these three would be Jones, Hope, and Iron Man, obviously. There will be a boss battle during this event, most likely for Doom. With those out of the way, let's see if we can piece this all together. The event. This is my theory for the event. Most of it's confirmed and logical, but there's a few things tossed in there that's just something I think will happen. Before we talk about that though, subscribe, because if we hit 30k subs before season OG, I'll give away 
three season OG battle passes. All right, but let's get back to what we think will happen during the event. Hope has been preparing for Doom's return. We defeated Mysterio and set free the loopers from his mind control. The Rift Beacons are prepared. Now we wait for Doom's arrival. Doom arrives and we get started. The Rift Beacons aim for Doom, but Doom was prepared. He hacks the beacons or somehow avoids their effects, but not without a price to pay. His armor becomes extremely damaged, a scratch on his eye and a lot of scratches on his armor. Hope is devastated that her plan didn't work, but this opens the chance for a victory and defeat. Doom succeeds with his plan, he summons Mephisto and Hope leaves the battle more upset than ever. But this isn't the end, we have another live event coming. We know that Doom will succeed with his plan with Mephisto because there are leaks that Mephisto will be on the island to offer us trades for our HP. If we offer 20 HP, we receive a random weapon. If we offer 40 HP, we will receive an augment. If we offer 99 health, we can reboot our whole squad. This is how we know that Doom will succeed, at least for this first live event. But for the second live event, this is where things take a change. In my opinion, what I think will happen is that in between the time of the first live event and the second live event, Jones will tell Hope that the battle hasn't been lost yet, and he offers his shield up for her to have, explaining this live event which made everybody think that Jones was going to die. But I personally just think he's going to offer the shield up as a gift. Hope accepts it and comes up with a new plan. She will fight him straight on. And considering she has an edit style called Pandora's Chosen, she will win and claim the powers. But this doesn't come without a price. Leaks show that the event will end up with a black hole. My theory is that Doom successfully reaches the zero point, possibly damaging it enough just to send us into a black hole. And then we go to Chapter 2 OG. From here, the story will probably go into overdrive. The last event will take us to Chapter 2 OG, and then there will be probably another event in Season OG to take us to Chapter 6. Hopefully there's some great story in Chapter 6. This is all just theory based off of what is confirmed. Personally, I hope that Doom wins at least one of the battles. I feel like Fortnite tosses insane villains in, and then they're just swatted away by the small characters like Hope and Jones. I mean, Doom literally defeated Galactus, Thor, Thanos, everybody like that, and he's just about to lose to Hope. The zero point returning is still 50-50 for me, because the leaked things might just be reused assets. I'm holding on to the fact that the zero point might be back, but what do you guys think? The good news is that most of this video was still speculation off of evidence we have. I have no idea what will actually happen during the event. Recently we've kinda had a lot of stuff leaked, but this time we are completely in the dark. Comment your theories, and if you're behind on the storyline, watch the video on the screen for the full storyline. Use code PBJ.